Okay, this is one of my absolute favourite blogs at the moment for a store. So this is a bar above, written by Julia and Chris. And um, I've spoken to Julia. They do an absolutely brilliant job of their content. Their content is such um, good quality content. They do it consistently. They do it often. And um, subsequently, huge amount of their traffic, of course, is from organic. Um, search results, but I wanted to show you how they do their author profile because again, it, this is very simple they've, they've done it in a very simple way, but it's beautifully done. They've really taken care. You can see the color matching of um, you know, they've, they've got such attention to detail their branding is so exceptional that you can see the color palette they've used here matches the rest of their website and even the other photos in their website. The color palette just matches beautifully. Simple circle which is fine meet Chris and Julia so it doesn't have their last names um, you know they're just the founders the ultimate resource so it's very very simple they haven't sort of said that you know they've worked for 50 years in London you know being bartenders or whatever it might be they haven't done you know certifications and MBAs in you know degrees in you know running businesses like this but you can see that their love for it because they've got the background there, which looks fantastic. Um, learn more about us here, which is perfect. And then the links through to the business's social medias. So that's great for Google. Let's just go down to the end here. So this is the person, Melanie, who actually wrote this article. And again, um, so you can do an author profile. You can do a sort of a store profile or a business profile in the top um, of your side column. And then down the bottom of your article, calls you can do you know just a more personal one um, unfortunately Melanie's not really got um, you know the uh, bar is the only real word there um, and maybe fermentation but nothing else there is really on topic for what this business is so I would sort of a tiny tweak would be Melanie Tornroth and then I'd have a little comma and I'd say um, author and expert and then I would make sure that this instead of being promotional about Melanie actually spoke to the readers who are interested in this topic which I don't think this does at the moment so just a tiny tweak but you can see here is another one I'll just scroll to the bottom down here this one is for Chris um, co-founder of so at least we've got bartender mixologist uh, chartreuse cocktails um, you know so at least we've got some of those keywords in there but you know you would probably expand it a little bit more and then link to his um, social media profiles and then Google would then say oh, well this person really is an authority on this um, this is one of their while we're here this is one of their top ranked um, pages this split image works very well. It's a known BuzzFeed um, thing that BuzzFeed did. Uh, if you look at BuzzFeed, depending on when you watch this video, you'll see that BuzzFeed used lots of split images. It's a very clever idea for creating a unique image in Google's eyes. And then they've got lots of graphics in here. So look at this. It's beautifully done. They've pushed in a big email subscription because they know that this page receives a lot of traffic. This is this page here. And so you can see how well it ranks. Um, it's in position three. Um, it's ranking very well for 631 keywords. That's fantastic. When you get articles that rank for hundreds of keywords, you're absolutely killing it in the search engines. And this is an example of an article that's going to rank really well because of these reasons. It's well written, um, the graphics, subheadings, tables, Google loves tables, um, percentages, you can sort of see numbers, percentages, um, uh, not percentages, but um, you know, measurements in here. Google loves numbers um, and a bit of bold for readability. So it's a beautifully constructed article. Um, and then also the comments. So I think that this kind of interaction with comments um, really helps to assist articles, but you just can't have spam in there. Um, you can see how well uh, a bar above are doing. They've got 372 URLs in their blog. So keep in mind that when you are writing articles, you can't do 10 to really get um, significant traffic. So these guys have dropped off a little bit post-pandemic. Like obviously everyone was making cocktails at home. 
during COVID uh, lockdown. Um, they've sort of come back a little bit, but they're going, they're going to go back up with the recent uh, May 2022 uh, update from Google. You can see that they've doubled uh, in their organic keywords just in the last couple of weeks. So they will come back. They will definitely come back because they've got such good quality content and so much of it. Um, this is their recipes. They've got 244 recipes. So they've got two types of content. So they've got 600 um, blog articles, so to speak. Plus, it doesn't stop there. They've done 197 podcasts. So these guys are absolute machines. This is just their normal content pages. But, you know, they're, they're close to, what, 800, 900 pieces of content in their website. So they're absolute machines at this. But they also know how to construct very high-quality content um, that ends up ranking really well. And you can see that through here. If I was just to sort of go product, um, you can see that a lot of their content here, um, a lot of their top pages is just their content. So they're very, very good at what they do. Um, but yeah, so the thing that brought them to my attention was this sidebar that they've done, which I absolutely love. And in particular, their author profile, even though it's very simple, I think it's incredibly elegant, um, detail oriented, beautifully branded. Um, and I just think it just elevates uh, all of their articles, uh, all their content towards being, you know, trustworthy. Okay, bye.